Hi guys, so in this vlog I wanted to talk about the precautions that were taken to prevent a further, another miscarriage. Um, basically, as I said in the previous video, but if you haven't watched, go watch it first. It's my first doctor's appointment in this pregnancy, I think I've titled it. Go watch that before you watch this one. But anyway, as I said in that, the doctor had said about they wanted to make come back in the following day and talk about what they had the him and the OBGYN, I always get that confused, the initials confused for that person, but what they had talked about over the phone or whatever and discussed it, what the plan of action was for me based on my history and all that. So basically I went in at 11 o'clock this morning, this is Tuesday today so I'm recording it as it happened, and he explained to me that they had he had a whole big list of stuff on a piece of paper and he started reeling off all the stuff and he said basically we want you on baby aspirin because it has been a known fact that it can help prevent miscarriage um, a high dose of folic acid vitamin D Hershey's progesterone Hershey's which also I think I'm not quite sure if they obviously prevent miscarriage but I'm not sure what they do, they obviously level out your progesterone levels or make it high or something like that. I need to look more into this, it's just all like, what's happened so quick. Um, and vitamin, I know I've said vitamin D. Baby aspirin, high dose of folic acid, vitamin D, Hershey's, progesterone, Hershey's and I'm actually on a blood thinning injection daily. So this is what he came up with. And he just said all this stuff and then he said, so the injections you will be doing once every single day. And I asked, um, how long will I actually be on these injections? Is it just for the first 12 weeks? Obviously because that's the danger zone in pregnancy. And he said he wasn't sure that he w if it would be just the 12 weeks or if it would be the full pregnancy. Um, I'll have to speak to midwife more about that. And if it's full pregnancy, then it would probably be full pregnancy and a little while after um, I have to be on that injection. So there's that. And then the baby aspirin is 75 milligrams once a day. And then the high dose of folic acid is obviously just one, I think it's five milligrams, one five milligram folic acid tablet a day. And then there's the vitamin D as one tablet a day. I can't remember the dosage on that one. And then there's the progesterone pessaries, which is two a day. So it's one in the morning and one at night before bed. And I have to insert them myself. And basically all this cocktail of medicines has helped prevent miscarriages in the past. So he decided that it's best to put me on it as soon as possible. So I've started today on all that medication. Um, also, he said about me self-injecting myself for with the daily injections and I wasn't too keen on that well I was it's not that I'm not keen on it I'm just really scared of needles and scared of jabbing myself in the belly where that's where the baby's growing if you know what I mean it's a scary thing to be putting drugs into there where your baby's meant to be growing if, I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm just being stupid but anything like that scares me because <laughs> I don't want to lose my baby through doing anything like that and I know that obviously they wouldn't ask you to do that if it wasn't safe but it's just a fear I have anyway. So he was talking about me self injecting every day with this um, blood thinning injection and I wasn't keen on that so we've decided that I'm going to go in and see the nurse daily and she's going to inject it for me um, I have the needles at home for it so I have to take them in daily and then she will inject for me but he did do the first injection today in my belly and it is already all bruised lovely he told me that I'm going to be my belly is going to be covered in bruises and that I need to watch not fall or cut myself or anything like that because blood thinners obviously thin your blood and then you're more prone to um, huge bleed outs if you do cut yourself or a lot of there's a lot of dangers with coming with too thin blood so I have to really watch out for that and if I do bang my head or cut myself and it won't stop bleeding then I need to contact them as soon as it happens and get medical help for that but 
started basically I just have to be careful with what I'm doing because I'm on the baby aspirin and that thins your blood and then also the injections on top of that. So basically I have to do all this and I have to wait on the midwife calling to set up an appointment to talk more about what's going to be happening with all these drugs and stuff and see if it's going to be the full pregnancy or if it's going to be just the first 12 weeks but he reckons it's probably going to be the whole full um, nine months and further but to be honest I'm really not bothered if I have to inject myself every day I have to I would rather do that and have a healthy pregnancy and get to hold my baby and after nine months than not do it and have another miscarriage because I couldn't go through having a miscarriage for the fourth time so in a way it's really scary that I have to take all these precautions and it's kind of disappointing in a way because I don't know if, if people will understand what I mean but um, obviously a woman's designed to have children and your body just naturally as a woman can do that but with people with infertility and stuff we can't and it's all just all these medicines that he's got me on and injections and stuff like that just to keep this pregnancy like stay in, in me and last nine months it's just so medical and I just never thought growing up when I was thinking about having children that I would have to ever do this so it's just kind of disappointing that my body just doesn't work like a normal woman should and that I should have to do all this but in a way I'm so happy that he's actually listened to me and he's just jumped straight on it and gave me what I need to help sustain this pregnancy for nine months and I'm so grateful that I've got a really good doctor that listened to me and was just on top of his game and straight away got me on these drugs to help um, keep the pregnancy rather than leaving it and leaving it and leaving it and then the worst happening so I'm really really grateful that I found him and I'll definitely be sticking to that doctor from now on because he just really listens to me and he's really supportive that way like in the pregnancy he doesn't just think oh well you're just an every, you're just another patient kind of person he really takes care of his patients and makes sure that he gives you enough time and actually listens to what you want and what you think is best so I really like that about him and I think that now that I've got him on board with me in this pregnancy and he agrees with what I'm saying it's really going to make a difference and it's going to make it a lot easier for the next nine months so I think that is it for this vlog um, basically I will go into more detail as I go on about um, all the injections and stuff and how I'm feeling and stuff like that but today is just day one and <laughs> I don't know what else to say really I've just it's been a busy day and after that appointment today I actually forgot this as well I've done this in the last vlog forgot I've just had so much going on like constant it's constant on the go at the moment and I just keep forgetting stuff but after that appointment he booked me in to go see the nurse and she done six valves of the little well, the little tube things six tubes of blood um, for various different things I can't remember any of what he said he was just tick 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 in all these boxes of what he's wanting to check for but basically it's all the normal pregnancy things that you get done at your midwife's but he wanted to just get a head start and get them done now so I guess testing for all your usual pregnancy things that they test for um, I'm not sure when I actually get the results back for them I'm going to have to ask the nurse tomorrow because I totally forgot to ask her today but basically that is it so I've got I don't know if you can see I can't really see a tiny little mark there where I got all my bloods taken and I have a lovely big red dot on my belly with a big blue bruise on it. <laughs> so that is me for today. I am five weeks and six, eh, four weeks and six days. So I hit the five weeks mark tomorrow, which is super exciting. Only another week till six weeks and that'll be the furthest I've ever been pregnant because six weeks was when I lost jelly being my last pregnancy. So I'm just really hoping that the next week and a half goes super fast and I pass that six weeks mark and I just I think I'll feel a lot better and 
feel more confident about this pregnancy and stuff but I'm just always going to be scared and it's just always going to be in my mind that the worst is going to happen but I need to stay positive and I've got all my family and all my friends all know um, and are supporting me through it so that's great and Adam's on board he came to the appointments today and helped me out and stuff so it's good that I've got all that support but if any of you have been through this and had these treatments for prevention of miscarriage let me know what happened with your story let me know your story down below I would love to like hear other people's um, stories on their journey with all these drugs and how it went and stuff like that just to show some support basically I just wanted to see other people out there that went through this um, and the reason why I'm sharing all this is because if there isn't anybody else that's been through the same as me maybe I can help somebody else out that's had infertility finally got pregnant on their own which is a, a huge milestone on its own but um, and then has to go on all these drugs to prevent miscarriage because they've had reoccurring miscarriages and stuff and I just want to show everybody that it can be done and I just want to show my support and show share my journey so I can always look back on this and say wow look look how scared and nervous I was back then at four weeks but look now look what I've got you know I just want to be like that I just want to have these memories forever so even if it's good if it's bad if it's ugly I'm going to share my journey no matter what with it, all of you so I can always look back on it and know how I was feeling at the time but anyway I think that is it for today's vlog and I will be uploading a four weeks pregnancy vlog um, some point this week hopefully because I'm obviously turning five weeks tomorrow so it will be a bit delayed but I will be posting that and hopefully you all enjoy these, this pregnancy journey um, along and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and like this video if you did. I'll see you again soon. Bye!